Hi everybody, welcome back to Honestly KDP. My name is Laura and today is going to be part three of my puzzle activity book series. So today what I wanted to go over is spot the difference, how to make the spot the difference puzzles. So here I selected this image here. I just got this in Canva. Their new features make it super easy to make these type of puzzles. And here with their magic eraser tool, it's so easy to go in and just delete things from the picture. So first what I would do is I would have the, the first main picture and then I would duplicate it. Bring it down to the bottom half. And then just go in, you can zoom in a little bit. Okay, go in and um, click on the magic eraser. You can adjust your brush size here. And then you can just go in and start deleting things. See that bench seat just disappeared. I'm going to do this ore over here. And I'm going to do these building, this tall building over here. You literally just click on it. It makes a circle around it and deletes it. And it's pretty smart technology. Like it doesn't just leave a blank circle. It doesn't erase the trees behind it. It just erases that one item. Sometimes you might have to click on it a second time. And then... I'll remove this chain here. Again, the complexity um, of what you remove is going to depend on the age group that you're targeting. For younger kids, I wouldn't get too complicated with it, but um, for older kids, you can make it more challenging. Um, I can delete this pointy mountain behind the other mountain. And delete this back part of this boat here. And then what you can also do, you don't have to just delete. What you can also do is add things. So if you want to add like a little soda can on the here or whatever, you can do that. Let's see. somewhere Let's see if I can see that right you can just add things you know a bird in the sky whatever you want to add and I was experimenting with it as well so that's how you can make um, spot the difference but I was thinking as well um, you could make it your spot the difference a little bit different and do like a spot the difference coloring pages and that way um, might set you apart a little bit. It would be two of almost the same page, but they would be different so they could spot the difference and then color it. And also what I've seen, because I know if you've been on Creative Fabrica and other sites, um, you've seen that a lot of uh, AI generated coloring pages are have been uploaded and um, people are just cranking them out. Um, I've seen YouTube videos too where people tell you to go into like Affinity or some other software to edit them. But you can actually do that right within Canva as well now with their magic eraser. So if you wanted to just, this is sort of a twofer. So if you have, have coloring pages, but they don't quite look right that you want to use for your book, you can just touch them up here, get rid of things that you don't want. Um, like this fish's eyes look really weird. Just get rid of the extra eyes. Uh, if you're doing a um, spot the difference, you can like remove a butterfly or remove, you know, some bubbles. Again, um, how difficult you want it to be depends on the age group that you're targeting. And then you get the picture. It's going to be different. Um, 
can probably go over it several times to remove all of it, or you can just leave it kind of lined like that. Uh, however you want to do it. Uh, let's see. I wanted to remove. I don't know why it keeps jumping on me. I think. Yeah, that was it. So that's how you can do it here um, with regular pictures and with coloring pages. And then I do just want to say with that, I would just check um, the USPTO for a trademark just because yeah, I have to try to do it now. I'm not sure with those um, if spot the difference is copyrighted. So you might want to just call it something else like find the difference. Let's see, what is a trademark for? Plates used in chemical or biological analysis. So it looks like it's not trademarked. Um, yeah, so it should be okay to use if you're making it at a later date. I would just check it again. But that is how you create those. And then I'll be back with another type of puzzle soon. Uh, thank you for watching and have a great day.